what is up guys Zan from the Zan Madden YouTube channel in today's video we're going to be showing you a gap pressure that you guys can utilize out of the dime normal defense and if you guys run up against it in online play we're going to show you guys the ways that you can pick it up pretty easily the dime normal is starting to come back in competitive Madden right now if you guys missed a video I did a couple of weeks ago I actually showed you guys how to get three safety adjustments so you can put your safeties up top in outside thirds this is a major adjustment that a lot of pro players will run to be able to better defend corner routes on the sidelines and be able to roll their coverage on the fly with simple quick adjustments rather than having to call a specific play and then make a million adjustments after they call that play with this being a thing now you're starting to see players getting pretty creative with their zone blitz pressures in today's video is going to show you guys how to get a defensive lineman through either the a gap or the b gap out of the dime normal but the caveat is that we're going to be running it flipped again if you guys want to pair this with the coverage based video i'm actually going to link in the description the three safety adjustment setup that you guys can utilize after i put that out over on gridiron game plans uh other content creators and websites start to put out that little trick how to get outside third so i'm kind of just doing dime normal content here on the youtube channel rather than in the vault if you guys want more make sure you guys head over gridiron game plans .gg. the vault is overflowing with content i've got so much over there for you guys if you guys struggle on offense or defense i promise you we can cure what ails you you guys can unlock everything in the vault that's over 140 videos nine game plans discord access where we have lab sessions every single wednesday so if you guys are watching this today when it's launched this is a wednesday you guys can come to lab session tonight if you guys are in our discord channel so make sure you guys hop over on the website 995 a month unlocks everything so here's how we're going to set this up we are going to run this with auto flip off now the way that this defense works is we are going to run it flip so you definitely want to make sure that you run this flip i know a lot of players think this is symmetrical because it's got four linemen one linebacker two slots two outside corners and two safeties but the position that the linemen stand in differs when you flip the formation so you want to make sure that you guys are running this formation flipped and the plays that you guys can run are going to be up to you there are quite a few plays that you guys will be able to call what i would recommend doing is setting a bunch of audibles so you know tampa two three buzz palms cover six go through and test out the plays that you might want to run and what we're going to do is we're going to base this off of the cover three buzz scene flipped if you guys want to know the best way to tell if diamond is flipped if you guys get confused when you look at cover three buzz seam the safety on the right is in the hook zone if you're running it not flipped he'll be on the left so make sure that the safety is on the right side now with this particular setup what we're going to do is we are going to press our coverage we're going to pinch our line crash down and we are going to blitz the slot corner off the edge now this is where i will kind of give you guys a little bit of advice if you guys are in a formation where it's pretty easy to slide this corner in go ahead and do so this is going to make it so the running back tends to look over that direction in the event that they do block the running back and the defensive lineman that comes through will be able to get better pressure but in general if you run this setup with the pinch the crash inside and the slot off the left blitzing you are going to be able to get pressure the key with this is making sure that your user is blitz to guarantee the pressure of the lineman that's going to be coming in through the gap and you see right there that we had the left side a gap slash the nose tackle coming in free let's go ahead and take a look at the instant replay and you'll see exactly what i mean so taking a look at this from the top down you see that when we crash our line inside you see that there's a jumble of aaron donald william perry reggie white the defensive end on the right from our point of view and then we have the slot corner coming in free the center cannot pick up two players at once so one of them is going to come in through the gap pretty easily right there there was a little bit of jumbling but we we're able to get to the quarterback let's go ahead and set this up again here uh we're going to be pinching the line crashing inside pressing blitzing the slot corner off the left side sliding in is optional make sure you blitz your user do not user over on the left side where the blitz angle is going to change you want him blitzing over the right side because that's going to occupy the offensive tackle again when the ball is snapped you're going to notice that you're going to get that a gap pressure you saw right there that we got the nose tackle we also got the left defensive end which is the right of screen to come in free uh this is a pretty effective blitz that you guys can utilize on the fly so again here with this you snap the ball you see there's our free a gap from our defensive end this time you're going to get a lot of players that are going to come in free one thing i would recommend 
recommend when you guys do run this particular play is kind of rotating your linemen. If you can, try to put in faster players. Um, another thing that you might consider is trying, if you have defensive ends, uh, you could put middle linebackers have lurk artists at this spot. Um, I'm actually a big fan of that because if guys shed as they get off blocks, if the quarterback gets to throw out a sack and you have a lurk artist linebacker kind of shedding, they can catch throw out a sack interceptions, which is nice. Uh, but again, with this, you're going to be running this formation flipped. I do want to show you guys again the whole audible thing that I mentioned. When you guys are comparing this play, the cover three buzz scene, two plays that could be a little bit different, go ahead and just audible. So you see here, if I audible Tampa two, you see how the DNs kind of pinch out a little bit. That doesn't mean that you can't run this. It just means that it's going to differ in the way that it behaves. You see right here when we crash inside, notice that Lewis's blitz angle is not looping around the defensive end anymore. That's going to be kind of a sign that this play works a little bit differently. Doesn't mean you can't get crazy disengaged B gap pressure. It doesn't mean you can't get gap pressure at all in this defense. Again, there's just going to be slight differences in where the players stand. You see right here, I'm an audible into cover six. Again, you notice those defensive linemen kind of fan. Um, if we go ahead and reset the play, you see the stock position there. If I audible to cover four palms, doesn't necessarily mean we still can't get productivity out of this. But uh, again, as you kind of run this, you see here, this is actually going to work a little bit better. Uh, we snap this ball. You see that we got that A gap from the D tackle and the disengage right behind it from the other D tackle. And we're right at the quarterback for a sack. Now, before we get into how to block this blitz, if you guys could do me a favor, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the Zan Madden YouTube channel. So let's talk about how to block this a lot of players right now are kind of in a mindset where they don't really fully understand how to block the meta right now to be totally honest the left a gap is kind of the tender area of the field right now you're seeing right now that this is kind of the spot on the field that whether it's a loop blitz from a 3-3 or a dollar or a big nickel over g or it's this particular blitz meta right here that seems to be the player that's coming in Right now, the best way to block most of the A-gap pressures in the game is to actually slide protect to the right and then ID the outside corner on the left. And you're gonna see right here that if we do this in the, against this dime defense, what ends up occurring is we are gonna pick it up pretty easily and that's going to allow us to get the ball to the outside and deliver our check down. Now, of course, with this particular blitz meta, I don't think you're just gonna face this same uh, little setup where they're just gonna leave the flats open. A good player is likely going to choose this play because of the blitz angles, and then they're going to make adjustments. So again, keep in mind that I kind of mentioned that we have um, a way that we can get outside third adjustments for the safeties. As you might imagine, we might be able to kind of roll our coverage uh, and rather than having, you know, uh, you know, this guy in a hook, you might be able to put him in an outside third. You might be able to, you know, kind of create some pretty crazy coverage calls. But in general, I think a lot of players are going to kind of... Uh, just use this blitz front with kind of some coverage adjustments, make it really sneaky. But again, anytime you're facing this slide protect right ID, the left screen slot corner and block the running back. And you'll see that you're not going to get gap pressure. You see pretty easily, you can go ahead and deliver the ball underneath and keep it moving down the field. Another way that you guys can block this as well would be to utilize play action blocking. So if I were to go into, uh, let's let's run like PA slot cross right here. If you guys are facing this particular blitz meta, you see right here, a lot of times they're gonna have to kind of move that slot corner in. If you're in a spread set, that's another advantage to this. If you guys do face this, if you run a play action blocking scheme and you just block the running back, um, you will notice that it does still give the opportunity for this to be a nano detect or a free runner so again with this if you guys are going to utilize the play action trick make sure that you guys are actually doing a little bit of a half uh carry out of your play fake so um i'm gonna go ahead and set this up again here and uh we'll show you guys what uh how to utilize play action a little bit better so it's not just calling a play action play it's actually utilizing the protection of play action now right here with the running back sliding across to the right side you would think let's go ahead and slide protect left and id the slot corner uh if you guys go ahead and do this you're going to see that uh, again the issue is probably going to be that they're going to let that guy come in free so if you guys do use this kind of slide across and block scheme out of play action make sure that you guys are actually running this so the running back goes over to that left slot again this is a blitz that requires the left slot to be uh the player that is uh basically uh blitzed to make this work so um now again when you see this if you kind of see this blitz set up here this is where you're going to be just fine um now in this situation you can go ahead and 
pick that up, you see that now we're in a spot where, again, I'll just set up my route combos a little bit better next time. Obviously, you see that this was a pickup that worked. If I just go ahead and hit my check down, set up my route combo off of that, we're in good shape. So either do a regular block, slide protect right, ID left, or use play action where the running back crosses across the quarterback's face from shotgun and blocks over to the left side to pick up that slot. Otherwise, you're not going to be giving up the gap pressures on this. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, drop a comment below, and we'll see you guys later this afternoon with our next YouTube short or tomorrow with our next long form upload. Until then, this is Ann. Get in the lab and good luck.